Hey, make sure to like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, like it anyway. You watched it all the way through. You might as well subscribe while you're at it. And if you don't, you will not know when the next video is up. So, you wouldn't want that now, would you? The Backyard Family, Red Nicole. I've been fascinated by the family of crows for three years now. We've started... What started as sharing a few shelled peanuts with them fueled a lifelong love of Corbett's. We started with a pair of three, and a year later laid four eggs, bringing us a family of seven. They're so fun to watch and interact with. They love hanging upside down. Here's a video of the... Oh, I'm scared. Their favorite snacks are peanuts, fresh salmon, and they hate berries of any kind. Really? That's weird. They're easily confused by hazelnuts. They love to chase osprey for leftover fish. Aw, they're cute! They're very cute. They always look like young ones. Nico Noon's butterfly? I've done the experiments. The results are in. Only one needs to frolic about after a butterfly for one- What? Only one needs to frolic about after a butterfly for one minute and 30 seconds as people stare. It will then get tired and perch long enough for you to take a picture. Just remember that when you have a new camera, you should reposition the zone of focus to the center after playing with it. For example, if it's off to the bottom right, that might look funny, but you've never had a camera before. So you might get really excited to see a butterfly and prance after it without second thought. Don't get down on yourself, it gets hot. And you're probably just excited to get a picture of something that can fly. It's pretty. Thank you, Nico. Okay. Um, Sam! <laughs> the streamable is safe if you want to watch it. Okay. These are of the crows in her backyard. He's hanging. Playing. Oh my gosh, what the heck? That's weird. I've never seen them do that. Huh. Maybe they're getting high. Maybe there's some like blood rush that goes to their head or something. I don't know. Cool. Um, meat eating and it being a habit from Sam. I don't know if it fits here, but after I saw Maya mention it, I wanted to give a little perspective to people myself. I was a heavy meat eater for most of my life, ate it almost every day, and I loved it, but I, after I stopped living with my parents, I never really go to buy meat, at least only on rare occasions, and I don't see myself ever going back. I still eat meat, um, but now only maybe once a month or less, and all I really want to say is that eating a lot of meat is usually only a habit, and once you start, you won't miss it very quickly, and I encourage everyone to try it, even if it's just for a month. You'll see it's even better because then you really enjoy it when you eat a good steak, etc. That is true. Interesting thing about moving out uh, or moving away from your parents, if your parents cook, is like, you don't really want to cook meat. Like, cooking with meat sucks. It's it's really gross. And you have to worry about contaminating everything. Like, your parents will cook you meat and then you just eat it and so it's really convenient. But like, once you're moved out and you want to cook for yourself, I'm telling you, if you're making vegetarian meals and you never have to worry about cross-contaminating anything and you're just cutting up vegetables and it just feels so clean. And it feels so easy and you don't have to stress about whether you've cooked it enough and if you're going to kill yourself on accident because you have, you're have you going to get salmonella. Like, just just try to cook vegetarian. It's so much easier, trust. And then you don't have to deal with slimy meats. Um, llama farm. Llama mama. Maya, I love your streams. I'm an animal lover too. I volunteer at a llama farm in upstate New York where I also have my own llama. They're sweet and intuitive animals. People come to visit and hang out. I'm training my llama to be a therapy animal so we can travel to nursing homes and medical facilities. I'm an occupational therapist and I brought many different clients to the farm to meet the llamas. If you're ever in New York, I hope you stop by. What? Is this her llama? This must be her llama. Man. I would just- I would like to apologize to you for only getting llama-themed things from your family and everybody else that knows you for your entire life. But this is a very cute llama. Good luck with the certification, that's sick. I've seen lots of barnyard animals get certified. Um, it works. It's pretty cool. My aunt saw kittens, just me. My aunt saw a mother and four kittens in her yard, started feeding them. She caught all the kittens. The only cat she hasn't caught is the mother. My family took in one and the Humane Society took in two. My aunt still has one of the kittens but recently found a home. Our kitten Blair is settling in great. Yay, one less outdoor cat. Good job, Just V. Good job, saved a bunch of birds. Some bugs I found over the years, pastel seas. 
I found Maya's stream videos over the last year and I'm so impressed with how far she's come. Here's some pictures of bugs. Details incredible. Keep doing great things. Wow. It's like glass. 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 Sorry. I'm... There's a bird on TikTok that says glass like that. Um, parrots have like poisoned my brain. This is so crazy. Look how intricate this is. That is so cool. It's like, it's like a piece of jewelry. Amazing. Helped a little lizard man. Banana math. Sorry, it's a bad picture. There's a lizard in the middle of my path. So I spent like half an hour waiting for it to crawl onto leaves to very slowly move it over to the grass. That is very sweet. Um, banana math, that is very nice of you. It's probably best that you didn't touch this lizard with it, with your bare hands because uh, it, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got that, got that moist skin, you know? So you never know. A little salamander, a little newt, a little, a little amphibian, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice. That you waited 30 minutes is crazy. Starting an animal, starting an animal sanctuary in Minecraft. Meme baton. I started making an animal sanctuary and started making a parrot, an enclosure for a parrot. I'm going to make more enclosures when I'm done. I'm hoping to invite players and give them a tour while teaching them about the animals from the information I've gained from Maya's stream. He's coming for my job. Look at this. Dude, you got to get Ella in on this server. This is cool. It's an actual enclosure. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Sick! That is sick. I found this, no idea what it is. Um... <laughs> me neither. Sorry. And I don't even have an idea. <laughs> so, so sorry. Um... Okay. <laughs> wildlife of Punjab. I'm a wildlife teacher and amateur photographer. What is that? What is that? This is a hornbill? This is a peacock. I don't like a flycatcher. I don't know. I it stresses me out. I can't ID any of these. I'm a zoology teacher, an amateur wildlife photographer, and an agriculture university in India. I teach students about conservation and sustainable agriculture. Cool! Gives me so much hope that the younger generation is interested in learning about wildlife. Cool. Yeah, these do- yeah, they, they do look like ibis. Um, you're right, that- I couldn't remember the word, but... Their faces look the same. Northern California Wildlife Rehab from Justin. I've always been interested in animals and especially wildlife, so it was a natural decision to become a wildlife vet. Part of that journey I was getting experience, so I got an internship after graduation as a wildlife tech in late summer. These are a few of the 4,500 plus animals the Northern California Wildlife Rescue I work has taken in this year. Education is immensely important for the well-being of wildlife, so I appreciate the work of Maya and Alves for bringing awareness to these issues. Um, Maya's work helps younger generations get involved and excited about wildlife. Look at how cute! Oh my god. You rehab black bears? I've never known anybody that rehabs black bears that's crazy beaver i've told you guys my worst bite from an animal ever was from a beaver about this size owl oh it's a gray fox cute oh my god you really do all the mammals you're crazy you guys are crazy thank you justin